Hello everyone, I want to have a play around with some watercolour paints today for the Let's Get Arty prompt in the Facebook group, the Mixed Media Emporium. And for anybody that wants to follow along with us, I'll leave the link to the Facebook group in the description box below. Now I want to try out these watercolours um, today. Um, two, well, well, all of these were from Timu and these two sets here were ones that were sent to me for the haul video that I shared a couple of weeks ago. Um, I also I went on to purchase this set here which is the portrait colors set of 12 so i've got the portrait colors i've got the 24 ocean colors and the 12 standard colors and i know that um, a lot of you are eagerly awaiting for me to try these and um, for me to share my thoughts and let's take them out of the packet now the one thing um, i did notice and i noticed this when i un unboxed these was that the 24 set came with with um, a 300 GSM watercolour piece of paper, swatch card, whereas the other two clearly haven't. Um, it's no big deal. I mean, these are so cheap anyway. Um, the 24 set was um, just under £14 and these two sets were £7 each. Let's try these ones. Now, I am thinking that these are going to be similar to the Derwent um, Graffiti Tint watercolours. Um, I was just drawn by the sort of grungy colours so I'm really excited about trying these. So let's swatch them out on the card that, um, that came with the kit. Let's start off by spraying these with some water just to try and activate them and it will be interesting to see um, how they reactivate. I can already see the colours starting to move. I've also got two jars of water here and I'm just going to be using my um, Fumui um, number four watercolour brush. And let's see. Well, um, yeah, they look quite pigmented. So let's add a bit of water. Let's see what these, these are like. Got my camera down quite low so I hope I'm not going to bump it. I've also got um, a rag here, a nice pink one um, which has been through the tumble dryer because somebody left it in their in their pocket. <laughs> it was either Stephen or Sam, I'm not sure who was the um, culprit. Does anybody else dread that in the weekly wash? It doesn't matter how many times you check the pockets. Um, one will always um, escape. Well, you know, that's what happens to me anyway. I like the colours of um, of these. They are quite um, quite pigmented. Much more so than I was expecting for such a a cheap set. And so I'm just going to go through all of these. And, um, and yeah, let's see how these perform. Just watering them down as well so that we can we can see and then we'll do a project with them um, with one of these sets or even a mixture of all of them um, afterwards. I've got um, a project in mind. Well, that's my first swatch done and I must admit I'm really happy with the colours in this set. I really like the muted tones. Now, this set, um, which is the ocean colour, said that they were glittery watercolours. I must admit at this stage I can't see any signs of any glitter. Of course, that could all change once the um, swatch is dry. So I'm just going to pop this off to one side and crack on and swatch the other two sets. So as you can see, I've swatched out my colours and I left these drying overnight. Now this is the swatch that I did on the watercolour paper that was included within the kit. Um, I think the colours are just absolutely beautiful. You can see a little bit of sparkle. Um, I wouldn't call these glittery, but there is some kind of, um, of sparkle in here. I would say that these, it's sort of like more of a graphite um, kind, of, kind of sparkle. And I'll show you a comparison with another set um, in a second. So those are the colours. Um, this of course is more of a textured kind of paper. I also decided to swatch these out on some of the Arteza paper as well. This is just an Arteza sketchbook that I've been using to um, swatch my watercolours and this is what they look like um, on this paper which is slightly smoother. I think the colours 
are really pretty. You can see that I've got some smudging here and that's because I just wanted to rub this and see what came off on my finger. And you can see that um, some of the pigment um, or colour is, is certainly coming off. Um, but if I grab my Derwent Graffitint swatch card as well, exactly the same thing happens with these not to the same extent but you can see that um, color is coming off on this too let's try a different color i'm gonna have to use a different hand but you can see that exactly the same thing is happening so not unique um, to this set here by any means and i think that this is very comparable to the derwent um, graffitin set color wise um, we've got lots of similar colors here similar greens as well so that's how they compare this set here is 25 pounds whereas this one here is 14 just to give you a comparison i think these colors lay down much more smoothly but i just think the colors are really pretty in this set here as well so i guess it you know just depends on your budget as far as sparkle is concerned, these ones are more sparkly. I don't know whether you can see that if I tilt the Derwent Graffitint um, colours. Let's do this one again, just so that you can, you can see. But they're not um, dissimilar in all honesty. Now I also have the Kuratake Ganzai Tambi graphite watercolours as well. Um, colour wise, they're all really similar. So I think, you know, that's the line that these were, were going down. So that's the Derwent, that's the Kuratake, um, and this is the Didi Dupre's. I can't detect any kind of sparkle in the um, Ganzai Tambi set here, but the colours um, are pretty similar. I just love these sultry tones. So that's how they can compare. And let's see, you see, not as much rubs off on the Ganzai Tambi ones. These, these are pretty good. I would say that, um, yeah, these are the most permanent of any of them, I would say. And these are my swatches of the other two sets. So the one on the left is the solid, uh, standard colour. That's what it's called, standard colour, solid watercolour set, meaning that it doesn't have any glittery or sparkly um, bits in it. Um, the colours are really bright and vibrant. And then the one on the right-hand side is the portrait set. Again, that's solid with no glittery bits. I really like the colours um, in this one here. They are chalky. I'm not going to, to lie, but sometimes, you know, that's not such um, a terrible thing because I do think you can get some cool um, effects using these cheap watercolour palettes. I don't know whether any of you can remember, this was um, a watercolour card I did several years ago using the cheap Artist Loft watercolour paints, and those are chalky as well. Now, I would never have been able to achieve this look using good quality watercolour paints um, because you just, just don't get that chalky, moody, um, sultry look, which I really like for this. It depends on what um, application, what you're going for. So let's have a look and see what we can come up with using a couple of these sets. I've decided I want to use this set here and this one. And I'm just going to start off by spraying my watercolours. So let's just spray those with some water just to activate the colours. And I'm just going to be working on a double page spread of this Arteza paper. So it's from one of these sets here. If I can find a link, I don't know whether they still do them. I was sent these um, to review a few years ago. And my aim is to make some um, backgrounds, just some backgrounds, and let's see what we can do with those. So I'm going to try not to overthink this. Let's start off with some of this beautiful dark blue here. And I'm just going to put a few kind of um, scallops and then I'm just going to add some more colours and just let, let them mingle. Let's try this as well. And I just want to let these colours mingle and just see, see what happens. So let's... Let's try this. Let's add some of this purple. Why not? Sort of like an aubergine colour. And I'm just going to, as I've said, try not to overthink um, what I'm doing. 
and just um, see if I can end up with some really pretty colours and patterns all mingling together. Let's add some more of that lovely, lovely green. Let's maybe add some down here. Just being mindful of the colours that I'm using because obviously I don't want to end up with a horrible, muddy, muddy mess. Let's add some of some of this colour perhaps. Oh, you see, that's a nice a nice colour. And I'm really trying not to overthink what I'm what I'm doing here. So maybe add some of that um, at the top as well, just to tie it, tie it all together. Um, maybe some of this ochre colour. Am I going a bit mad here? Probably, but um, you know me by now. <laughs> Let's try this um, beautiful olivey green. I love the way that these um, are mingling together. Try some of that um, bluey green again. I'm in camera shot, aren't I? Let me just um, move this up um, a tad. Maybe a bit of this um, inky grey colour. Oh, you see that's beautiful, isn't it? Maybe a bit of pink. Let's um, let's try some of this this pink. What shall I try now? I really like this um, this inky, inky blue colour. So I think I'm just going to leave that to dry and then we'll see what that looks like and see where we feel we want to go, go next. Now this is still wet and I've just got the urge to just add more, more colour. Look at the way that these are reacting together. Maybe a bit more of this aubergine colour where the, where the pink is perhaps. Now let's see what happens if we just drop on some um, water. But let's see if we can make some marks whilst this is still slightly wet. Now you can actually see um, the glitter a bit more. Let me just hold this up to the camera. If I tilt this, can you see it? So the glitter from the graphite um, is really coming out um, now that I've got more paint um, on the page. Of course, I want to carry on. I'm in danger of completely overdoing this, but you know me. So let's add some blues. And what I want to do is just add some circles. Let's add some blue here. Got this gorgeous green, and I'm just going to try and go with them um, blues and greens and see what um, see what happens. I love these colours. And I'm just going to keep keep going over both sides of the, the page. Maybe a bit more blue here. Love this um, inky green. So lovely. And I love how you can see um, those colours through the circles. And what colour shall I add next? Let's go for another one of the lighter lighter blues 
and perhaps another one of these um, inky ones down here like this. I want to fill in some of those gaps, trying not to over overthink this. You see, I like the way that those um, overlap. I think I'd like to do more of that. So I'm just going to keep, keep going. Now, I don't know whether you can see, I'm going over this with some of these um, lighter colours. I just want to try and add lots and lots and lots of, um, of layers. Oh, you see the pink, uh, the, the white's working. I like that um, a lot. And then I just want to add a few more of these peachy ones as well. Just adding layers so that you can see that some are underneath, some are on top, and I like um, how that looks. Let's add another one over here. Try not to overthink it, Nina. And I think I'm just going to leave that there. Maybe another one over, over here. I left this for a while and it's dry now and I just love how it looks. Um, if I hold this up to the camera and tilt it, I don't know whether you can see sort of the sparkle. It's absolutely beautiful. Let me just turn it around um, this way as well. Really happy with how that's um, turned out. Now, originally I thought that I might be able to get a couple of ATC, artist trading cards, out of each side of this and cut it up. But I don't know whether I can bring myself to to do that. It's really grungy on the inside um, so I need to um, find something to cover the inside of this but I'm thinking I can turn it into some kind of uh, mini journal. I don't know whether I would have it in that orientation or, or that and I don't know which side um, I like the best. I think I like this one. I want to add some kind of focal image onto the front of this and I'm going to use um, some more of the bits and pieces that I had from um, Timu. This is one of the stencil sets that I ordered and what I'm going to do is just tape that down just to hold it um, in place and I'm going to use my Deco Colour um, Premium Prime Premio pen. Um, I've got the usual piece of card that I use to activate it and I'm just going to go over this stencil and I'm just hoping that this will come off with um, some acetone or isopropyl alcohol, which I'm sure it will. Um, but if not, you know, your stencils are there to be used, aren't they? So, you know, if we've got a bit of colour around the edges, hopefully it won't... Um, stop us from using it again in the future but I'm just going to go over the whole of my background and just keep my fingers crossed that this doesn't seep underneath. Now you can see that some of the gold has seeped um, underneath my stencil but that's okay. Um, let's just try and do something about that. So I've got my little swatch piece here. Let's just try and make something of this. Now this one is running out. I need to order another one of these. I highly recommend these pens. They are absolutely um, fantastic. Let's make this one slightly um, abstract. And I'm just going to just try and make this work without it looking um, odd. You know, these were supposed to be um, round shapes. It doesn't matter. We can make all of these look like this one here on the left so that it all ties to together and make it more of an abstract um, type of um, flower or plant. 
I think this is absolutely beautiful. Just look at that gold. These Premio Prime Premio pens, honestly, they are just the best. Um, there are no other gold pens like them. Um, if I can find the links, I'll leave them in the description box below. But, you know, this is definitely my gold pen recommendation. I love this so much. Um, that's what it looks like on the back. Now, I could either cut this in half and I could turn this into a card. I could round the corners and that would be a card topper. I could do the same with the gold on the back. Or I could turn this into um, a journal. And I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet. Um, let me know what you think. What would you do with it? Um, what I do think I want to do is add um, a few splatters. So I'm just going to um, prime my pen again. Let's see if I've got um, enough ink in this one here just to um, add a few splatters. I've got a couple here and, um, and that's what's um, making me want to, to do it. I don't want too many, just just a few, just a few subtle ones. Now, of course, I did end up um, adding a few more splatters. I really like these um, larger blobs that I ended up with, but I'm leaving it there. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think the gold is so pretty. Now, one interesting thing, um, of course, when I did my swatches, um, when I rubbed my finger on these, they were really powdery. But um, as I've um, made my backgrounds, if I rub my finger on top of this now, nothing really is coming off. And the other thing I wanted to report as well is that my stencil has cleaned up really well. We've still got a bit of gold around the edges, but, you know, nothing to stop me using this successfully again. So that's it. I'm leaving the video here for today until I've decided um, what I want to do with this. Um, I just can't make my mind up whether I want to um, chop the top off and turn this into cards and do the same on the back, or whether I want to make it um, into a journal. So your thoughts would be very much appreciated. But, you know, if you found the review helpful and you've enjoyed this video, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now